the Pan European League, I think it's called, is going to be very long. Hopefully this is allowed. The Out of Le Mans Quattro, otherwise known as... Oh, God. Otherwise known as... The Audi R8. In concept form. Bloody wind. You wonder why I hate winter? Here's the reason. Wind, cold, and more wind. Anyway, international B license event. 45,000 for the championship. I believe it's something like 10,000 for each race. So let's begin. Begin our journey. First at Opera Paris, and then it's somewhere else. I can't, I, I couldn't remember. Oh, look, there's an SL65. Oh, look, there's an SLR McLaren. These are all fast cars. Thank God I got the Audi Le Mans Quattro then. Let's go. Excuse me. Oh, look, there's a T350 in this. Oh look, this is it's just understeered to hell and back. Excuse me. Excuse me. Excuse me. Oh god, why does this have such horrible brakes? I know it's a concept car, but really? You can't make your own concept car stop. Also traction controls on, I completely forgot about that. I'll have to turn it off for the next race. Look, it, it doesn't stop. The brakes don't do anything. It's like having... It may as well have parachutes on the back. Although I am catching up to the Mercedes now. Well, Mercedes number two. Why aren't you stopping, car? It doesn't stop and you actually end up being pushed. Really should have upgraded the brakes before I did anything with this car. Come on. Please turn in. Easy. Oh god, uh, bugger. This didn't spin out. Hey, go man, how you doing? Got you now, you little git. And this time there was no blood. Congratulations. Meanwhile, here I am sitting in a, mar in a zero degree, in a zero degree cabin. Which, honest to, I'm not kidding when I say that. It is zero in here. Why? Two degrees outside and a big wind chill of minus three. Gotta shut off the bloody chimney so it doesn't enter as much cold air as possible, make it even colder. This is pan European stuff. Come on now. Can't have any more mistakes. Go! Come 
Come on. After last night's bloody storm, which ravaged the entire country. It's going along extra cold winds and extra cold temperatures. And yet, despite cloudy skies, it's windy as hell. Let's go up to the first. Let's go up to lap number four. Hey, Romain. It's been very rainy. It absolutely killed it with rain last night. So, okay, all stones were coming down. I couldn't see anything in front of me because the rain was was howling that hard. Right, now that the tyres are actually warmed up, I've got some grip while braking, which means the brakes improve. Yep, and the winds are gusting more and more. I can hear my door moving about as a result. Don't hit that. Cold. Very cold. Also, why is there so much oh, so much lag going through restream? I don't get it. Yeah, it's it's freezing. It is actually a freezing point. We've got a huge wind chill. I don't know, Remain. I'm gonna turn it off after this race anyway. That look at Met Office actually earlier. Supposed to be three degrees outside. But thanks to this wind chill, it says it feels like minus three. That is horrible. Say warmest winter in, in years. If anything, now it's become the coldest winter in years. And the wind will not let up. Which means it's if anything, it's gonna get even colder. I really do wish summer was here. We've had minus 10 usually. Hmm. You see, the UK hat. UK's winters aren't typically snowy. In fact, if anything, UK's winters. UK's winters are either, are either warm and blustery, cold and blustery, wet and blustery, or snow and blustery. We sit in such an awkward place of the world, which means we get wind from one side and cold from the other. Hey, Jason. I also live in an area where the wind is accelerated by heels and dips. One's going off. No idea why, to be honest. I guess I reached the weather channel. That was a very cold edition of me.
Come on, turn in, last corner. There we go. Random shit, huh? Hmm. Oh, God. Anyway, some kind of thumbnail. Let's get a thumbnail of Vance's Eater, which has crashed. Hey, Alex. Just ground up against the wall. Why not? That'll do. Cold, Alex. Very cold. Oh, it's 12,000 per race, which means overall we get 105,000 for winning the entire thing. Ugh, my poor dog's looking for warmth. Oh, look, it's Grand Valley. As a result, I'm turning off the traction control. Yeah. Being very okay, that's good to hear, man. I don't know how, but little embers seem to survive in my fireplace. Despite all the fire being put out by the wind. Hey, Rocket. Good to see ya. Go! Oh my god, stop, car! R8 hype, yep. It is indeed the Le Mans prototype. Well, Le Mans, Le Mans concept car anyway. It's actually getting colder and colder in here. The wind's as the wind is getting stronger. And I can hear it. Darius intensifies. Screw you, Darius. Come on, quit your wheel spinning. It's it's spinning one wheel. Paced by a spring mod. I'd love it to be spring right now. Although we're starting to get into the late stages of winter. Which means, theoretically, it should be getting a bit warmer. Normally in the middle of February, it does actually get pretty warm. I'm hoping for that. Is a full that lost to a non upgrade Camaro SS. Alright, let's see how fast it can go. Fifty five. Oh my god. Oh, I thought it was going to go off the track for a minute. Next up is Le Mans. Drive test course. That will come a bit later on. Stop! Stop! It's drifted and understeered into the gravel.
bad handling in this game. Yeah, it's because the... It's, you need done with Dirt 4. Nice. Sand castle in the gravel pit. The gravel castle, then. Hey, fanboy. Yep, later upgrade to 5.2 liters, but later upgrade to 5.2 liters with the V10 model of the R8. The original had a 4.2 liter V8 from an Audi RS4, as it happens. Unfortunately, they don't do the V8 model anymore, which is very, very irritating. It's now simply just the R8. Whoa. You just shoveled your front porch and deck. Was it snowing? Well, stop. Whoa. What a recovery. No, it's now it, it, the, v, the V8 models. The V8 model's gone. It, V10, it still lives on. Wasn't much, but I shoveled away. <laughs> Want me to slow down? True. Wish the car actually had some kind of control. God. This thing doesn't have a limited slip diff. I really should have installed one. Come on, turn, you fool! Turn. Era Prada. Ah, no! Please, brakes. Hello. Thanks, Coin, for the rate of seven. How are you doing? Which series is this? This is Pan European. Come on, come on. There's two laps. Welcome all for Cot from Coinstream. Thank you very much for the host, Dan, Jason. I've had to turn off notifications for now because... Oh, why do the brakes not do anything? Actually, why do I have desktop audio still off? Which doesn't give a damn about my notifications. Thank you for the follow, you are LT. Welcome. Going for some qualifying driving, of course. <laughs> quality driving. Ha! What's quality about my driving? You should have seen the amount of shit I had to do through um through bar first last week, uh, a couple of days ago. Um, we had to bail because our car was all over the place. Thank you for the follow, Prada. Is this EMU or PS2? This is PS2. I have the official hardware. I have no intentions of using emulation because this game is hard to run. <laughs> In the zone. Yeah, um, me and a teammate tried to do the 12 hours in the R8. And while we were doing very well, I unfortunately put too much throttle too early down the dipper. As a result, I slid going down, I hit the wall, and it killed the steering. Nice PS2 graphics as well. Oh, yes. We got it fixed. Steering was fine. Unfortunately, the rear was super loose. Then it was ironically fixed by a 0x contact, and then I oversteered again and smashed into a wall. 
Um, a teammate, while he was driving, he unfortunately spun out a quarry and slammed into a wall nose, nose heavy. No, it was Skyline. He tripped the curb too hard. The entry, the entry curb too hard, hit the other side of the wall and killed the car completely. We had to stop. Eyes are yellow, which means braking is non-existent. Yep, yeah, we're hoping for something better for for Sebring next month, so we can only hope there. I'm hoping I get my rig then, so then I am nice and comfortable while driving and not having to sit upright and breaking my back just to drive. It's either going to be a Matidi's S Dream or if they st actually have it in stock finally, a GT Omega Titan. The Titan's supposed to supposed to be the best one their best for, for DDs. So let's hope so. If the uh, if the Titan's out, then I'm gonna have to get the S stream and get a seat. Technically it'd be cheaper that way, but I like the look of the Titan. God damn it, come on. I actually have some decent posture for racing as well. I'm seeing hunchbacks sometimes. And that is not healthy. You need new brakes and suspension. Tell me about it, but I can't change anything now. I've ended the championship. I've got to stick with the car. And diff. Maybe new car. Wow, what a shit lap. These would be very diverse. McLaren didn't really come second last time. That was the SL. Looks like the SL and you need to just wheel faster. Well, speaking of that, I'm hoping to get... I'm trying to get a... Um, an adapter for the T300 RS rim, which is supposed to work with DDs. So once I get that and I get my SimuCube 2 in June, then I can use that and control everything without having to spend a fortune on getting a new wheel. Plus, I can. Plus, in the future, I'm going to be getting a rim and a custom button box. So. Then it. Should be all good for me there. Imagine having good sim racing equipment. Ow, bugger it. Why do, I, why do I even have an Ember God on a fire that doesn't exist? Imagine being good at sim racing. I'm no good at sim racing. I'm still trying to get good. You want good sim racing? Take a look at coins. Excuse me, Audi RS6. Welcome to La Yep, yeah, it is indeed the chicane version. All of this gravel don't exist anymore, and the chicane is a lot tighter. Oh my god, the Suzy is gone. The, the two Mercs are fighting each other for position. No, it's, it's the TBR and the Merc fighting for position here. Why is that put? That's not purple, is it? Or is that just a bad shadow? Bad shadow glitch. Out of my way. Because the AI is the best. Neither am I, apparently. Right, let's have let's see who wins. SLR's got the supercharger, but I have the V10, and it's a concept vehicle, so who knows how fast I'm going. Plus, I have Slipstream. Precious, precious Slipstream. Uh, no, no, no! No! 
Ow! Why must you do this to me? Hey, Daniel. That just happened. Yes, minus minus a thousand stars. But I should be able to catch up easy. The Sazita is very slow. Goodbye. Goodbye. Hundred and eighty. This is Eta's understeering. Also, all that all that gravel and that little piece of astroturf no longer exists. This was when the FIA really did crack down on track safety. They got rid of all the gravel because it can flip a car over. Stop it. There's the SL65. Going down the second straight. Out the way, get out the way, get out the middle of the track, you tall. That's not good sportsman. That's not good racing. That's not very good racing etiquette there. Oh, coming up to Arnage. One of his tweets was, "You ever dig around in your face and realize that you're, that's your skull? Like, wow. Well then." Right, let's get this TBR. This is surprisingly held its own. Use moi. Out to the the Porsche curves. Get off the grass. Been made narrower since because the FI doesn't allow grass. Only AstroTurf now. The guy, this guy's higher than me, and it's not fair. <laughs> Still very windy. I can hear the wind still. Right, I've got the SLR. It sounds a modified exhaust, I can hear that. Right, final lap. Oh. Wow, they actually put red on their F1 car? That's astonishing. I think Matt Riddle does it before he's put... Yes, his promos are a... His promos are deaf. They suck. Right, let's see if I can actually do uh, Tetra Rouge much better this time. There we go. And let's not spin out on the Molson. See what speed we can get up to, 175, 180, 185, due to a new sponsor. Is it Vodafone again? The riddle's higher than me, it's not fair. The hell is lost. E. 
I was going to say Ericsson, but their main card is grey. Bad tendency to understeer. Or anything, really. Mm. Yes, because he keeps talking. He keeps trying to call him out, says that he's better than him, except Brock will squash him like a bug. I don't know if he if he's no if he knows this yet, but Brock Lesnar was the was at one point the longest reigning UFC heavyweight champion of all time. A record that still stands of four years. Oh god. That's a Come on! The only, the only other person that, that, was beat, that beat him was, was Cain Velasquez. Apparently he's very... Apparently he's in pretty serious hot water over it. No! Don't do it again, car! No! Why did it lose control there? I don't, I don't get it. It just lost all control on a straight line. Yeah, that's what I said earlier, Gun Man. It's got a completely different exhaust. So I'll have to research that after this championship. Come here, you are not winning. Yeah. You're pushing me. All chicane. Now with much bigger curbs. Yeah, in your face! That's 10 points to me. Yeah, shut this bloody replay off. The one of these supercar actually be an actual supercar. No, it was the Audi RS6 that was last. That's astonishing. Don't remind me. Hey, Stephen, how are you? Currently uh, 40 minutes into the stream, which means we have uh, 50 minutes to go. Sorry, it's 45 minutes to go. I had to have mods. I put in mods because we had loads of bots come in the last time, so... Bots, any bots come in, get rid of them. Down a procedure now. Also, I really do need a new shock mount. This one is it's starting to fall apart. Yes, you are a mod. Did you not notice the big sword? Oversteer. Come on! Need to go through casino now. Very titular, very narrow track. But Sazita is first. Luckily, I'm not a mod. <laughs> Pass the TBR. Even first for now. You can do mo modi things. Hey, Chaser. 
I know this car's going to be absolutely terrible around the swimming pool chicane. And one will be a good mod, yes. Oh, come on. How is the Sazita so good around here? May actually get second. That's amazing. Boo, that's V16S. Ball riding. Driving on the sand. Yes, but still. A wall is a wall regardless. I know, astonishing, right, Chaser? He would go to AEW, of course. That's why they're not letting people come out of their contracts. Six laps. Wow, the, the wheel spin from nothing. We're at 42. I reckon I can go faster than that. I just stop hitting the walls, maybe. Oh, God, don't remind me. That was horrible. It's been there for the last couple of years. Yeah. A shame. But now we have the inner circle and on all elite, which is great. Why? Because Because Chris Jericho has it. A ring camp. Yeah, but they've returned. It's now Imperium. At least the XJ could actually stop. Come on. Dag on the Steer Legends. <laughs> Ring Camp was. Well, well, killing literally everyone to WXW to. Well, now be NXT UK. Yeah, the XJ stops. This doesn't. The brakes seem to be made out of some kind of fabric.
Welcome to WWE Booking. That's that's actually true, Romain. <laughs> and that corner is La Rascas. This. I knew who ring. At first, I thought you were talking about some kind of YouTube poop version of Mein Kampf. I'd love to see a parody of that, really. Nah, uh, Ra... The Casino Hairpin, yeah, that's pretty... That's brutally slow. It's... Almost the same speed. It's if maybe I think it's the same speed as Raskas. At least at least the first part of Raskas, because it is so tight and so bumpy. It is indeed the Pan European Championship. No woman forty one. Frying pan, your your pan. Last lap of Monaco. Yeah. But the viewership of NXT UK really isn't very high. I think the rating the last rating for viewership rating for for NXT UK was something like a was something like a point five one. It's not the it's not it's not the biggest. Why do you think they rely on progress and ICW and, and Rev Pro? Um, I'm not sure. I think if you can translate German, then yeah, I guess you could read it, but oh, that's right, it is. They were in partnership with RevPro, but then they decided, no. Nah. Right, that's race number four. The Sazita came second. Dear God. But it's still fifth in overall in overall points. Yeah, that is a big downside. If they disrespected their um their schedules, then yeah, they wouldn't be killing promotions really quickly. Anyway, now for two laps of the Nord Slifer.
Yep, two laps of Nordschleife. Alpha Tori Honda. The piss off the neo Nazis. That would be great. Car oh, behave. Yes, two laps of other things. Yep. I knew that. They renamed it to um to prevent confusion because Tor Rosso is a sen is Red Bull in Italian. Whoa. Almost as good as punching a Nazi. Actual Nazis, really. They still exist. Not the, not the, not the, not ordinary people that they call that. How was this, how was the Sazita first? In Moscow. Why would you do that? Whoa! My God! This car certainly really doesn't like anything that's hilly or any corner at all. The car seems to just lose control for no good reason. And because the car is a lot wider than the rest of them, it means hitting grass is easy. Oh, who knows? Well, the tyres seem to warm up very quick. I remember being nerdy. Car's not stopping, which, which which means I have to do evasive maneuvers. Remember Isuzu. Isuzu still exists here. In fact, it's still a big seller here. Oh God, the front just loses all of the grip in the world, and then and then you just do a four wheel spin. Coming up to the SL65 now. Come out of the way. No, they have trucks.
I remember HRT. Seven seconds behind the Sazita now, which is good progress. I'm trying that, Daniel. But it's very difficult in this car. Very, very difficult. Let's get to the bloody TBR now. Without under steering into the uh, into the undergrowth. Oh yes, yeah, so now first. Dip. Had to break so early, otherwise I would simply understeer. Don't lose the grip. Don't lose it. Oh. Uh, thanks for the push. I'm gonna have to take the grass, otherwise I'll just spin out. You'd be docked points. Ain't that the truth? Anyway, time for top speed. I can see him. There's one. Whoa, what is this? Tazita's gone off the track. It's decided to try and kill me as a result. Get past, get out of the way. I'm trying to get, need to get past this bloody TBR through Hudson Buck. God, thank you for the host, Daniel. Oh, please. For life. For, 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 for life. And in. SLR is not too far ahead now. It's six seconds. We just saw a small glimpse of it. Oh, why? Five seconds.
Here's a weird pack. Bob Holly was an actual stock car. I know. He really was a stock car driver. In fact, his, his first gimmick was that. There it is. I see you. Yep, and then he got contract because of it. He would later, he would later close line hard May Young. Something he seriously did not want to do. Come here, you git. Oh, I thought I was going to lose it for a second. Come on! Get in there! In your face! Don't screw it up now. Yeah, they didn't do very well, did they? Which would later become foreshadowing. If you think about it. Just before I was born. It was two years before I was born. Oh, we're just over halfway through the track. L L. Two thousands, yeah, and then and as a result, their stock fell even further somehow, which is astonishing. Whoa. Considering that Vince Russo is actually plummeting the stock of the whole company. gonna lose it for a second no 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 we're driving the bush series hmm I'm surprised I didn't get hardcore Holly all right second carousel Still right behind me. That was close. An Arca race. Oof. All right, top speed run. Let's see if we can get to 200 again. Nine seven. Oh my God! Stop! 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 Oh, whoa!
Oh, God. Don't ever give me two laps of that track again on a, on a, on a small championship. Please. That was terrible. All right, take it easy, Alex. Thanks for watching. Well, technically 28, because I've got to do four hours of that as well, which is technically VLN. Anyway, that's all of our prize money. Now, what do we get? Give me a car. As I adjust my chair. Anyway. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Yes, please.